Hey guys, welcome to another video by DJ PRC. Today I want to show you guys uh, how to waterproof with silicone modified conformal coating. Before we start, I just want to make sure these, to say to you guys, this is a harsh chemical. Uh, this could be dangerous if you swallow it or ingest it, things like that. Please be careful. And if you're underage, ask your parents or somebody to supervise you. Basically, what we're going to do to show you to show you is how to basically how to use this product. You could use it for multiple applications. Basically, uh, anything that you want to water waterproof or water resistant. What we're going to be using today is this Proto X uh, quad and this bottle of water. Now to make sure to show you guys this quad does work. Okay. Shut it down. And let's begin. One of the uh, benefits of conformal coating is when you apply it, if you're not sure exactly where you did apply it there's a way to be able to see where you applied it i'm just going to remove top shell just unglue the battery and leave her hanging conformal coating with uv light black light will change color and if you see it it becomes reflect a reflective UV kind of. This is one of the things that I love about the silicone modified conformal coating is when you do apply it to the quad or whatever you want to apply it, you could apply it to a receiver if you wanted to. Uh, you could apply it to anything that's electronics, even a servo. You basically see where you applied it. And make sure when you're going to use this to be in a well ventilated, ventilated, vented place. Wow. Um, and there's a lot more benefits about the, this guy. And let's start. We're going to open it. And basically what I'm going to do is cover the complete board. And I should have removed the props, would have been easier, but oh well. And just make sure it's everywhere to cover every contact as possible, even the corner LEDs. The other thing I'm going to do is cover the where you charge it and go around the battery connector. And I'm going a very thick layer. But again, what's fun about conformal coating is you see it with the back black light where you put it. Now the physical motor leads, you don't need to do them. They're brush motors and basically brush motors can live underneath water. Now, where you can buy a conformal coating, pretty much any electronic shop or even on Amazon. I will have a link in the bio where you can buy this on Amazon. And if you click that link, it will help me at the same time. Now, we're going to do underneath. Again, just make sure you cover every spot. Let's see if you don't, 
if ever what you're waterproofing sees water may not end well but again what's fun about conformal coating not sure if you guys can see it here what I'm going to do I'm going to shut a couple of lights down I hope it's in focus it's hard to see here but you see it it changed color it's a little bit like uh, purplish and you see it on both sides Now what I'm going to do is finish covering everything and I'll let it dry and come back. And guys, I'm back. Now what I'm going to do to show you guys exactly, I'm going to shut down more lights. And I'm just going to try to make the camera focus on it. I do apologize, it takes a little bit more seconds or two here. And when I'm bringing the physical light and you see it, not sure if it's in focus, sorry guys. There we go. And you physically see it, it's changing colors. That way you, you know exactly where you put some. And on both sides, you can go around and see, oh, I miss a spot right here and go back with your, your coating and put some more on. Turn some of the lights back on here. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is just put this battery back on top. Turn the remote on to confirm it's still working. The light turns on. And let's do the big test. The only thing I did not cut from a coat is the battery. That's where I'm not sure. Usually lipos don't like water. Here we go. She's in the water. <laughs> it flipped, but she's in it. There you go, guys. This is how you use conformal coating. Now, again, I just want to make sure you guys are aware this is a chemical. It is dangerous. Please be in a well-ventilated area. And if you're underage, please ask your parents or an adult. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like, give it a thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. And if you have any comments, post down below. I'll be gladly to answer you.